Welcome back guys. So today is an amazingly busy day on the channel. We got so much stuff that I'm going to be sharing with you guys from the Japanese Mega Drive Mini, which I think is pretty sweet. The plastic tower of power for it. But right now what we're going to be taking a look at, we're setting this stuff aside, even though I'm really excited to take a look at that as well. But the thing that I'm really interested in peeping out is the Nintendo Switch Lite. Yes, I got the turquoise blue. I know I talk crap about the yellow one, but I was kind of like, man, I, I kind of wish I would have got the yellow one. But like blue's my favorite color. This is not exactly blue, but you know what? Screw it. We're taking a look at it. I have some temporary um, screen protectors. I have the official ones that should be here in a couple days. Uh, this one, a company sent to me uh, that I ordered from. They sent the wrong size, so they sent out like a free replacement. We'll see if this actually fits, which was something I posted about like, hey, it's better to wait for official ones because this company already made ones that didn't fit. And it just seemed like they took a pre-existing screen protector um, and said it fit for this. So I just ordered it, jumped the gun on it. Um, but we'll, we'll see if those fit for now. They're tempered glass. But here it is. Nintendo Switch Lite. Here's the box. Here's all the good stuff. Uh... You know, serial number on the bottom. I'm not going to show you that. I don't know how important that is, but there we go. Pretty pretty little box, kind of reminiscent of the, uh, the 2DS, the new 2DS XL boxes. So here we go. Oh, we got the, uh, the Link Amiibo. Here, I might as well just, you know, I know some people will be like, oh, no, he's opening an Amiibo. Man, I don't care. I open stuff, man. Get out of here. Oh, let's, let's get this little freaking dude out of here i thought this one looked so awesome the detail holy crap look at how shiny he is he's a little shiny dude but i, I thought this one was really awesome I, I dig it had to get him i don't really collect amiibos i did when amiibos first came out i collected every single one of them i wound up selling them and i opened them all too i never kept them in the box or the packaging i opened everything and i sold them all off twice but I've, I've made it clear to myself, I'm not getting back into that. I'll only grab one every great once in a while. Like, the only other one I have is the uh, the Loot Goblin from Diablo, because I love Diablo. Um, I think I might have one or two other ones, like Paulina or something like that, but that's about it. I'm not trying to get back into it. Not crazily so. Um, they're awesome, but not, not something I want to jump back into. Unless it's just something really sweet. Oh my god, I'm already... I'm like really excited to see this. I haven't opened this yet. Oh, holy God. dude. Wow. Wow. That's a handheld. That is awesome. I mean, I knew it was a handheld. What am I talking about? What else is in here? We get a, oh my God, it's like a freaking origami box here. How do we get into the rest of this? We just pop this up. Okay. Okay. I'm making it more complicated than it needs to be. We get a full power supply that's nice that's the one that comes with the dock it looks like for the regular switch so that's cool normally those go for like 20 or 30 bucks by themselves so damn right you better you know ship this with one so there we go let's let's get this thing out of here actually i'm gonna um oh, wow look at that that's get out of here plastic you're in my way oh my God, we're going to, we're going to take some better looks at some angles here in a second. This feels good in my hands. Wow. D-pad. Yes. As you recall, original switch, no D-pad, no D-pad whatsoever, just buttons. So the one thing that I'm probably going to want to do is, um, Unset primary on my original switch and make this the primary switch that way it doesn't need to be online to play things and Make this switch a secondary use my account on both uh, That way because this one will always be home and connected to the internet and You know if you don't know how all that works you can look into it, but that's the way I'm gonna go about it I think other people have done it different ways, but that's that's the way I'm gonna do it. Let's turn this little thing on all right, we're gonna change angles here so you can get a better look. Okay, guys, so we kind of changed the angle a little bit here. I already set up the Switch Lite, got my account on there, started re-downloading some stuff. It was kind of a little annoying at first because it wouldn't let me add my account, link my Nintendo uh, account until I updated the system. So I couldn't do the transfer that I wanted to do at that time, but I just started manually doing everything. The screen does look really good, 
but I do have to point out that it there's kind of like a color variance here. Both of them, screen brightness, 100%. Uh, there's no auto bright brightness setting on this from what I've seen. On this, it's turned off. But I do notice there's like a slight variation in color. Um, not crazy, not where it's annoying or anything, but just something I thought I'd point out. Uh, and it's kind of hard to show on camera though. But it definitely seems like this whitish gray background has a little bit of a tint to it on this screen versus this one. This looks cleaner to me um, on the original Switch than it does on here. Not, not a huge difference, but it's definitely there. So here's a, a little look at the buttons, our L, our ZL, R, and ZR, where a game card goes. Come on, focus. Get out of, get out of here, regular Switch. We don't want auto-focusing on you. We got our ventilation, headphone jack, all that good stuff. A, sc a screw right there. Yay. Here's the back. Here's the bottom. Nice. Uh, the SD card slot right here. Micro SD card slot. Got to get me an SD card for this. But let's just take a quick look at some gameplay. I do really dig the way this, this feels in my hands. Um, I did put one of those glass screen protectors on. Let me try to focus. It's kind of hard. Uh, and as you see, it's like kind of a little short versus the actual screen. So it doesn't like cover like a millimeter or two on the right side. I mean, I guess you could have centered it a little bit, but I just put it on there. Like I said, a temporary solution. It's not a bad screen protector. Uh, went on there bubble free. You know, it's, it's tempered glass. Typically, you don't have those issues. Um, but I am going to wait for the officially licensed ones to come in and replace them. Hopefully, it'll be a better fit. But like I said, it does work. And here's a little Z Zelda Link's Awakening, my first time booting it up. Surprisingly, there was no update. <laughs> I'm not used to that, like putting in a new game and just playing it. Normally, there's an update, even with Nintendo games. This one just, boom, let's play it. So there we go. Look at that beautiful screen. This I really can see using this you know, as a handheld. That's what it's meant to be. I love the Nintendo Switch, but I very rarely ever used the original in handheld mode. It just did not feel comfortable to me. This, it just feels so much better, in my opinion, versus the original. Just the way I can hold it. It's got a D-pad that feels decent. I mean, it's not, you know, it's a Nintendo D-pad. It's good. Can't really complain. Everything just feels really fine. Screen looks good. Despite, like I said, there's like a variance between this and my original, my launch edition. The volume is all the way up, but it's probably going to be hard to hear on my mic. But it does sound good to me, so I can't really complain. Really can't wait to get into this game. Um, I have like a a day coming up where I have to sit at a car dealership for like five hours, and this is going to save my ass. <laughs> so I, I really, I'm going to get some use out of this. Definitely my original Switch, I love playing on the TV, so that's going to be used more than this. But this is going to be for those instances where I'm out and about or I got to wait around somewhere. So I'm 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 happy I bought this. I was a little hesitant at first. Definitely it's Nintendo's replacement for the 3DS. Let's not kid ourselves. Such a beautiful game. R button to hold out your shield. The viewing angles are definitely fine. Overall, this is a quality little handheld. Little expensive. Yes, it is $200. But I'm, I'm really happy I got it. I don't know if I like the whitish buttons and everything. These things are going to get dirty, man. I hope they don't. I always wash my hands before I play my games. But man, yeah, I don't know.
such an awesome game. Holy crap. I can't wait to play this. I mean, I can't really get crazy into it right now, holding it for a camera, but there you guys go. I'm happy I got this thing. I'm definitely going to get some use out of it. Not going to neglect the original. Not going to neglect it whatsoever. Uh, this is a secondary console for me for, you know, those instances where I can't play on the big screen. Uh, you know, I know the original Switch was made for that as well, portable mode, but it wasn't comfortable to me, and I'm really digging the way this thing feels in my hands. So really do appreciate you guys hanging out with me. I got some more videos coming up very soon. Stay tuned for that. And with that said, I will catch y'all next time. Peace out. Bye-bye and boom. Bye.